Hi, this is Jeff from Next Level Blockbuster. Today I'm going to be doing a movie review of the film Mind Warp. I chose this movie for two reasons mainly. Uh, the first reason is it was provided to me by Mill Creek Entertainment. And I wanted to give Mill Creek Entertainment a bit of a shout out on my first video for my blog because they have been very generous and supportive of my blog and if it wasn't for some of the review copies they provided to me and the support I wouldn't have some of the content I have on my blog so I greatly appreciate everything they've done for me. I also want to do it on this movie because it stars Bruce Campbell and I am a big Bruce Campbell fan since I was a kid. The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr. was one of my favorite shows growing up. So this seemed like a no-brainer as my first movie review to be filmed. I'm going to start by telling you what the movie's about, the summary kind of. The film takes place in 2037. The Earth is a barren wasteland. Uh, there's basically two civilizations the surface dwellers which are mutated cannibals for the most part and the more elite people living in like these biospheres and they live in like a dreamlike stance um, it's not unlike the matrix which I'll get into a little bit so the main character of the movie is called Judy and Essentially, Judy is thrown out of this biosphere because she keeps interfering with other people's dreams. And the system administrator will not have any of that. So she's thrown out to fend for herself. And immediately she's attacked. And she's rescued, luckily, by the character of Stover. Stover is played by Bruce Campbell. And throughout the rest of the movie, Stover and Judy uh, are basically having to fight for their survival. So, some notes about the movie real quick before I get into my thoughts. The film was the, the first film produced by Fangoria Films. Now... Fangoria films didn't really produce anything substantial or anything you might have heard of, much like this movie, but it's of note, nevertheless. Uh, I mentioned earlier that the film had kind of a, a Matrix feel to it, and in the sense that they had this plot involving people that lived their lives through dreams, and part of me wonders if like the Wachowskis had seen this movie or heard of this movie, and that gave them some of their inspiration for The Matrix. It could be just a coincidence, but it's interesting nevertheless. The, uh, the film had a very B-movie, early sci-fi channel feel to it, which, if you watch the sci-fi channel in the past, you're probably aware of. However, I guess, if you watch the sci-fi channel now, with films like Sharknado, you're probably aware of how it feels. The main character of Judy was played by an actress named uh, Marta Martin. I've never really heard of her before. She actually does a pretty good job in the film though, especially for someone who hasn't really done a lot and I, I'm pretty sure this is one of her first, if not her first role. And I mean she's not like stellar in the movie but she's not terrible either which for a movie like this is a standout. Uh, Bruce Campbell does, you know, he's Bruce Campbell. He can't really do any wrong. However, Bruce Campbell isn't given as much to do as I might have hoped. You know, his character isn't doesn't even have as much screen time as you might have think with him being the top build star. He's got a decent role, he's the male lead, but the, the story really focuses around the character of Judy. To me, the real standout of the cast 
was an ang uh, sorry was an actor named Ag Angus Scrim. Now Angus Scrim is a horror icon, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of those names. He's well known in the horror community. Um, I want to say it was the Phantasm films he was in. I don't know offhand, but I'm pretty sure I haven't seen them, so don't kill me if I'm wrong. But to me, he stole this movie. He was he played Judy's father in the movie, and he does an incredible job. And I will get to I will get to his performance in a few minutes because it involves the ending of the movie. The movie, how should I say, it felt like Mad Max on a budget to some degree, which I guess the original Mad Max was on a budget, but it was also directed by the incredible George Miller. This movie is not, so you have that. Now, I mentioned the, the plot about Judy's dad, and it involves how I feel about the movie because it plays into the ending of the movie. The movie has like an M. Night Shyamalan on steroids ending. It has twist after twist after twist. And the first twist isn't terrible. Again, spoiler. You find out that Judy's father is the leader of these cannibal mutants. That kind of works. It's kind of... It's not surprising. It's kind of predictable. But it works decently with the story and what we're told so that wasn't too bad then they do a twist where Bruce Campbell's character is infected with these mind controlling slugs so then he wants Judy to take control and be the leader of these mutant uh, cannibals which okay that's not great but you know there's worse things that the movie could do it didn't need that twist but the real stinker for me was the twist involving the fact that this whole thing, much like Wizard of Oz, was a dream. She wakes up and it was all in the biosphere and it was created by the system administrator who, yet another twist, turns out to be her father again. And she takes over the role of a system administrator. Hmm. The movie wasn't terrible, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible, but that ending had such a, left such a bad taste in your mouth, ugh. But what grade would I give this movie? Ugh. I think I would overall give the movie a C. Now I'm giving the movie kind of a, a mediocre rating and perhaps that's being generous considering that it left such a bad taste in my mouth. However, there were things about it, the performances were well well done, especially for a B-movie, and certain concepts that could be argued were preludes to The Matrix that were fairly original for their time helped kind of elevate the movie to at least an interesting watch. Now, is the movie perfect? No. Is the movie great? No. Is it enjoyable? Eh. It's not the worst thing you can watch. So that's why it got the grade of a C. So that's my review of Mind Warp. Thank you very much for listening to me ramble and yap, yap, yap. And uh, I appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like the video and hopefully the channel to come, subscribe. And thank you very much for your time. Peace out.